All right, so it's finally warm enough to get out on the bike, so I need to get my bike cleaned up. I haven't cleaned it all winter, and there's definitely some crud built up on the chain, a little bit on the derailleurs. Looking at the cassette, kind of dirty. Jockey wheels are pretty disgusting. Let's look under here. Got some dirt in the rear triangle. Plenty of crud under the down tube. And the chain ring. Chain ring, pretty cruddy. Let's get this up on a bike stand and get it cleaned up. Take off the electronics. I got a rear cyclic camera here and I've got my front camera. Let's get those removed. Right next, let's remove the wheels. First, we want to put the chain in the outermost sprocket in the back. That'll make it easier to get the wheel off. All right, now we just want to undo the through axle. So this wrench, this built-in wrench kind of sits right here. All right, just loosen up the through axle. Pull the derailleur out of the way. All right, put the axle back in just so we can track of it. All right, front wheel, even easier because there's no chain to deal with. Pull the through axle out and replace the through axle. Don't tighten it up because you're gonna just squeeze those forks together. It's gonna be very difficult to get all the crud off of these jockey wheels without removing the chain. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the chain, chain tool here. And I don't have a master link, so I'm just gonna pop it in there. Should be enough. All right, so I just dropped the chain into this little plastic container here, and I'm gonna add a little degreaser. Before I get started with any fluids, I got it. Water's okay, but you don't want to get anything on there like uh, any degreaser or cleaner because that could cause them to not work very well. I just want to cover up the caliper on the front as well. Just put a Ziploc on there, rubber band around it. That'll work well. I got this Finish Line E Shift Group Set Cleaner. Uh, this is made to spray directly on your electronic shifters, which I have here to take care of the front derailleur with this stuff. Get all that goop out of there. A lot of buildup on this mechanism down here. Get all that off of there. Get it in all the little pivot areas especially. Now, as far as the jockey wheels go, jockey wheels are pretty crudded up. So I'm going to get some, just some degreaser. This is Bontrager degreaser. Any degreaser is going to work. And I'm just going to spray jockey wheels with degreaser because those are pretty heavily up right there. Pulley wheel. Just get that coated on there. Good. Degrease chain set. Put it on there pretty liberally. Both sides, of course. Of course, not to forget the cassette. I'm gonna let that sit a little bit. All right, I've got a multitude of bike brushes here in this bin, although you can just use uh, a toothbrush for the small stuff and just any kind of a nylon brush. All right, so now let's uh, get the railer here. This is the dirtiest pulley because it's lowest to the ground, I guess, because as I notice, this upper pulley isn't anywhere near as dirty. All right, even though most of that came up, that was pretty thick. I'm gonna hit that with a little extra helping of degreaser just on the pulleys. Let that sit for a few minutes. One thing it says on here, not to squirt this into any bearings. So you don't want to go into the bottom bracket with this. All right, so the degreaser has been sitting on there for a little while. Warm water and dishwashing detergent. It's nice and soapy. Got a nice clean sponge here.
Okay, now that I got most of the non-greasy parts, now I'm gonna get the really dirty parts that I have put degreaser on. Jockey wheels. Let me hose this thing all down now. All right, now I'm just going to dry it off. Man, I do know what that is. Want to get your calipers clean. I'll just go in with a little bit of soapy water on a toothbrush. Just don't hit the brake pads. Just a little bit and dry that off. I'm going to take a closer look at the derailleur as well. Those wheels are pretty clean. Trying to shine everything up a little bit. Came up real nice. You're not going to be able to get every spot and of course as soon as you take it out on the road it's going to get all dirty again. All right, another spot that I see is uh, right in here kind of goopy right on the edge of the bottom bracket I certainly don't want to get degreaser in there and maybe get it into the bottom bracket so I'm just gonna do a surface clean there looks pretty good I think the bike looks pretty good I think everything came up real nice nice and clean calipers nice and clean all right, now to the cassette. I did have this degreasing for a little bit. I'm gonna just spray a little more degreaser on there to help us out with the brushing. Now I'm just gonna use a brush and just brush this thing off. So when I push, it moves it, and when I pull back, it cleans it. I wouldn't get any degreaser on the disc brake calipers. Um, water's okay, because that'll come right off and it's not gonna cause any issue. Not really going to brush it with that sponge because it's just going to rip up the sponge. Just going to get soapy water in there. Clean the rest of the wheel with the soapy water. You can use a clean part of this sponge to get the caliper. Yeah, careful not to squirt any water right into the bearing area. I'm gonna dry this off with the towel real good. I'm gonna put the wheel back on right here. I'm just gonna wipe down the uh, through axle here. Make sure there's no crud build up on that. All right. Just line that up. Screw that in there. Through axle loosened up, line it up. Pretty snug. All right, well, it's ready to go except for the chain. Okay, so I got the old chain out of the degreaser and I forgot that I need you need a special pin or you need a quick link with the Shimano or a special um, new replacement pin. You don't want to put the old pin back in, which I did try to do and I kind of mangled the chain a little bit. So I went out and got a new chain. I got the Shimano 11 speed CNHG 701-11 and it came with a quick link, which makes it easy to put the chain back together. I also picked up a, uh, this is the CT5 chain tool. This one's about $24. Next, I'm going to lube this chain real quick. Make sure I get a drop on each link. Let me just make sure I get this around at least one time. All right. Now that's around. So now I'm just going to lubricate the derailleurs a little bit. Just every little pivot point here. We're just going to put a little drop of oil. And then we're going to wipe it right off because we don't want it dripping down nice clean. This is just kind of like an all-in-one tri oil that I have here. Just every place where there's a little pivot. A pivot in the back here. A pivot over here. 
And then I'm just gonna rip it off. It'll work its way in there. This little pivot right here. All right, so in the rear derailleur, every place where there's a pin that pivots, I'm gonna put a little drop of oil. There's a pivot right in there. This pivots here. And there's a pivot back behind that. A couple of pivots under here. Just one drop of oil. It'll work its way in. Wipe off the excess there. So a little pivot here. Just a spring pin. Okay. You're good to go. And that's about it. I think I'm finally done with the bike. I'm just going to pump up the tires again to top them off and I'm going to get on the road.